got an inch and a quarter bull rope on there. And then another five eighths three strand. And then another uh, nine sixteenths and three quarter stable grade dire double grade. To pull this big white pine main I did. Right down there. With two mass dam rope pullers on the smaller. And I'm gonna hook this bull rope. Look how much pulling wood I left too. It was just too top heavy, man. Yeah, we had a lot of we had a lot of tension on it. Yeah. Almost if I it was starting a barber chair again. Well that's why I waited on the pool. It was cracking before I cut here. I was like, oh shit, I better cut a little bit and I was watching you. Yeah. No over. matter what, it's down that way, dude. Yeah, it's over. It's over, it's man. It's over. We can There's reach the whole thing with the bucket now. Yep. I wasn't worried about it. Nope. I if like there it. was a house like there, I would have really took my time better with the cut. You did fine. It's, listen, that that's, is it. Because that's the way it was leaning, right? Yeah. That's, that's in such a yeah, safe spot compared to what it was. Oh, no. That's that's the, all just... So that little bit of lean will put your cut... That face cut was perfect with that dead oak. I yep. figured it would go right... A tiny bit. But, of course, you know, you get those oak limbs are strong. That's, yeah, man. It sucked it right in. Yeah? No, it's perfect. Perfect. That's a beautiful thing right there. Well, there's the damage. We kind of knew it was going into that oak there. That's got to come down anyway. But look at the holding wood on this white oak. I'd say about nine inches I left on this side. 